Hello friends, it's Zeon. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about some hidden secrets I wish I would have known when I started Verge 3D. When I first started using Verge 3D, I was constantly frustrated that my camera just wasn't acting the way I expected. Objects would disappear and tweening can cause my camera to jump around my scene. Today I'll be sharing the secrets how to avoid these issues along with a new secret I only recently discovered. As a reminder, the Blender file and the Verge 3D project are free and available for download at Xeon's 3D Lab. Link below. Please be sure to like and subscribe so I can continue to bring you more content. One of the first things I wanted to learn when I started using Verge 3D was camera movement. I wanted to test out tweening and move a camera from point A to point B. Sounds so easy, nothing could go wrong, but for me it went horribly wrong. Let me explain by diving into Verge 3D and showing you my initial results. This scene is pretty straightforward. Suzanne is our star at the center of the screen. We have two buttons parented to the camera. The green button tweens the camera from its current position to point A, while the red button tweens the camera from its current position to point B. When you select the red button, what the heck? The camera jumps. It seems to reach point B and then leaves. It's found a portal or a wormhole or lands somewhere else. Worse yet, Suzanne disappears during the process. Yes, this is the result I got when I first started, and I was so extremely frustrated. The good news is there's a simple solution. The first secret is a blender setting. When using Blender, Max or Maya, turn on your camera limits. In Blender, this is located under Camera, Data Object Properties, Viewport Display, and select Show Limits. This will display a camera start and end clipping point. It's typically not on by default, so you may want to consider saving it to your preferences. In Blender, the default clipping distance is 0 0.1 to 100, indicated by the limit line. In this example, we move our camera from point A at 50 meters to point B. We move the camera a distance of 150 meters away from Suzanne and our camera stops rendering items based on the clip end distance of 100. So anything past 100 meters is just not rendered and poor Suzanne is 150 meters away, so she's just going to disappear. To solve our monkey from disappearing, we need to increase the clipping endpoint. To ensure I get all Suzanne in my scene, I'll set the clipping endpoint to 175. Exporting and going back to Verge, reloading the file, we can press on the red button and still it's messed up, but our favorite monkey Suzanne is at least visible this time. So if you find you have disappearing objects, double check your camera's clipping end and start points and turn on the camera limit so you can see where these limits are and you can adjust your scene accordingly. That's tip number one, or secret number one, whatever you like. Now for that pesky camera tween warp nasty jump thing. Back in Blender, you will notice that their inner floor is 100 meters. This is the actual place the camera is jumping to following a tween. In this blend file, you will see under the camera object data properties, there is a Verge 3D section that has a section titled Target Object Point. Inside this panel is the pesky devil causing these camera jumps. The min and max distance values are the cause. The problem is they are not evaluated until after the camera stops tweening. So the camera moves from point A to point B. Then Verge 3D realizes, ah crap, I'm beyond my max or min distance, and then ports the camera back to the closer point, either min or max distance. In this project's case, the camera is closer to 100 meters than the 0.1 meters. So the camera snaps to the edge of the darker floor inner, or inner floor, or the blue dark blue circle thing. To solve this, we just need to increase the value of our max distance. Any value of 150 or greater will work in this project. We can export our V3D GLTF and switch over to the App Manager, reload the page, and test. This time, pressing the red button provides us the results we're expecting. So if you're having problems with your camera jumping or not getting to the place you expected following a tween, take a look at your min and max distance in your Verge 3D settings you might find the problem there. Now for that one last thing that I just learned the other day. I tell you, I've been working in Verse 3D a while and I'm still learning stuff, so here we go. While creating this video, I started wanting to have my camera large enough so that it could easily be seen for you. It just makes it easier. So like many things, I scaled the camera. 
Once I did this, things did not go according to plan. To see what I encountered, reset the camera in clip point to 100. We'll leave the max distance alone. Select the camera and scale it. I will try a scale of 2. It just makes everything look nice and visible when you're trying to explain what's going on. Everything seems good. We export the file to Verge 3D and let's take a look. If you recall, when we first tried this, at the beginning of this video, when you press the red button, Suzanne would disappear and your camera would jump. We left the max distance set to something equal to or greater than 150, so the jump won't occur. Let's see what does happen. No clipping. Let's see if we scale our camera below 1. I'm going to try point 0.1. You might wonder why I would ever do this. Well, many of the objects I animate and have to model are less than one-tenth of a millimeter, so the default camera is way too big, so I just scale it down to make it more reasonable for me to use. As soon as you load Verge 3D, you know something is wrong. Your Suzanne is gone, nowhere to be found. You go back to Blender, and you check your camera limits, and visually they look correct, and everything seems fine. Then you decide, ah, I'll just apply the scale. Nope, that's not possible. After struggling with this a bit, I contacted Soft8 Soft, and they are aware of this and have it on their uh, to-do list. Fortunately, our friends at Blender have a way to keep our camera scale at 1 while allowing you to change your camera scale in the viewport. Yes, never scale your camera. That is the general rule that we should all follow. Just don't do it. It's going to cause chaos in any kind of scene you have. Under the viewport display in the camera object data properties, you'll find our hero, size. This is by default set to one meter, but you can scale the camera icon using the value and it has no effect on Verge 3D. To illustrate, I will select the camera transforms and scale it to one and set the camera size in the viewport display to 0.1. Double checking our camera in clipping is still at 175 and our max distance is greater than 150. We export to Verge 3D. Reload the scene, press the red button, and all is good. Just a quick summary, the three things that you should know about cameras in Verge 3D. Validate your clipping min and max by turning on your camera limit display. This will help you avoid disappearing objects. Validate the Verge 3D minimum and max distance to avoid camera jumping, especially if you're tweening. And don't scale your camera. It's the best thing I can tell you. You're going to get uh, in the same place I did, completely what the heck's going on mode if uh, you start scaling your camera. So take it from me. Don't do it. I hope you all enjoyed this little adventure. Once again, please be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that notification button so you can be alerted to the next video, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.